Hey guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Photo Filter Gel Cushion Applicator from Smashbox. The packaging looks like this and it was $20. As you can see, it is diamond shaped. One side is smooth and the textured side mimics fingertips for smooth application. This product is unlike any other applicators, like for example the Silly Sponge. That one was thinner, more rectangular, and felt more like silicone, hence the name. Whereas this one is thicker, it's diamond shaped of course, and is more mushy and more gel-like. On the Smashbox website, it says that you can apply primer and liquid products with this. It blends products evenly. It mimics fingertips for smooth and no mess application won't absorb and waste product flexible diamond shape reaches every angle of the face it's hygienic easy to clean and it is cruelty free so let's get started to prime my face i'm going to be using my smashbox photo finish foundation primer i'm going to put a little bit on the applicator i'm going to dab it all over my face I usually put this primer on my T-zone and then blend it outwards. For foundation, I'm going to be using my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This foundation is for all skin types, medium to full coverage and provides a natural finish. Since it does require less product, I'm going to start out with one pump. I'm going to dab it onto the skin. I'm going to dab it in. As you can see, it covers pretty well and it's still very luminous. I'm going to take a little bit more product for the other side. I'm going to use half a pump. For this side, I'm actually going to swirl it to see how it looks. When I swirl it into the skin, it doesn't apply very evenly. I would recommend dabbing the product in. Instead of swirling it, it doesn't apply very evenly on that side. So I'm going to try to match it and dab. So this is about one and a half pumps of foundation on my face. Usually I use about three pumps and blend it with my beauty blender. So this is pretty awesome. It covered everything and it still looks luminous. Next, I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and put a little bit under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. This is all I'm gonna use because you need very little product for this. I'm gonna blend. So this is what it looks like. I can still see the luminosity from my foundation and my concealer. I'm going to set my face and finish the rest of my makeup and then I will come back with my final thoughts. Okay, so overall, this applicator is pretty great. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. For my primer, it did apply pretty evenly. For my foundation, it did apply pretty evenly also, so I have nothing bad to say about that. 
for concealer it was just okay i guess i'm just so used to using my beauty blender and it's damp so i still prefer using my beauty blender for under my eyes so this would not replace my beauty blender but i would still use it from time to time because it does work so this is it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you want to see more videos like this please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions you can let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys on my next video bye